dear students so today we are going to deal with another topic which is very interesting from the lesson when current flows so hope you remember what all was taught in the previous classes we learned about electric circuit right and the different types of electric circuits open and closed so today we are going to learn about what is a switch a switch is a device which allows the circuit to work whenever necessary all might have seen the switch right whenever we want it we can on the switch whenever we want to off it we can off the switch so all might have seen this and there are different types of switch also first one is about ordinary switch this ordinary switch which we are using in our houses to work the electric appliances like electric bulb and all light fan this all comes under ordinary switch whenever we want to stop it we can switch off it whenever we want it we can switch on the switch next one is bell switch from the word only we can understand that when we on the switch it produces sound it carries a bell so when we on the switch it produces sound and when we off the switch the sound is not produced then press button switch this press button switch which you can see from the picture it can be used in both the ways for uh, uh, running electric bulbs or uh, through this running the bell so in both the ways you can use it now next one is a two way uh, switch this two way switch it is used in bedrooms you might have noticed that one switch will be fixed to the switch board on to the wall and the other switch will be fixed on to the wall near the bed so it will be the switch of the same electrical appliance for example if you take fan both will be the switch of the fan so if you want to off it you can off it from any of the switch so especially it is seen in bedrooms two way switch next one is the double pole switch or dp switch this switch which you can see from the picture is usually used to work on the electric motors the it will be the switch of the electric motors because electric motors carries a lot of current so we use such switches for the electric motor to work so these are the different types of switches ordinary switch bell switch press button switch two way switch and double pole switch that is about switch now next we are moving on to the conducting wire we know that from the last class we have learned that a circuit consists of a bulb a conducting wire for what purpose is this wire is to flow the current right yes and we need a battery or a switch so these are the three things which is needed for an electric current a circuit so we need a conducting wire for the flow of the current so there are different types of conducting wires first one insulated copper wire almost 10 copper wires are covered by an insulator and you can see from the picture clearly there are 10 copper wires and they together are covered by an insulator 
and this is mainly used for domestic purposes that means household purposes we use this next one is laminated wire where the copper wire is laminated with varnish you can see from the picture this is used mainly for winding the motors electric motors next one is non insulated wire which is used to transfer the electricity from one place to another and the last one is the service wire service wire is a conducting wire which is used to carry the electric current to the houses from the main post you can see on the road so that is service wire from the post to the houses it carries the electric current so these are the different types of conducting wires insulated copper wire laminated wire non insulated wire and service wire now next we are going to learn about an important thing which is called a safety fuse see this is the picture of the fuse i hope all might have seen this you know what is the use of it it is a device which is used to protect the electrical appliances from overloading and to protect the individual those who get accidentally electric shock and all to protect them we use the safety fuse in almost all the houses and in office in everywhere nowadays the safety fuse is used you know how does this overloading takes place due to the excess flow of electric current this overloading takes place see there is a thin wire inside the fuse you know how does the safety fuse help us there is a thin wire inside the safety fuse when overloading becomes this wire gets burned so as the wire gets burned it makes the circuit open and as you know that in the previous class you learned that when the circuit is open the current will not flow so it will stop over there so that it will protect the individual from getting electric shock so that is the use of the safety fuse now next one you can see the picture this is mcb that is miniature circuit breaker nowadays we use this in the homes its only function is that it helps it is also a safety fuse where when excess flow of current passes it makes the circuit open so that the current flow stops there and it protects us from overloading okay so this is about safety fuse now next we are going to learn about what is the connection between the magnet and electricity you know children there is a picture in your textbook a circuit okay you are taking a circuit a conducting wire a bulb and a battery or a switch now when the switch is in off position you put a candle near it a magnet sorry not candle a magnetic needle near it and see what happens to the magnetic needle when the switch is in off position does it move children no now you on the electric circuit and keep the magnetic needle near it you can see that the magnetic needle deflects that is it shows its movements to east west direction so this tells that 
the magnet due to the flow of electricity this it made the magnetic needle move so there the magnetic needle how it is moving there it produces a magnetic field so that's why this made the magnetic needle to move so a magnetic field will be produced over a current carrying conducting wire so this was first discovered by christian oschend so we will call this as electromagnet so this is the relationship between a magnet and electricity when the electricity flows through the conducting wire it allows the magnetic needle to deflect because there it produces a magnetic field and thus it changes into electromagnet this electromagnet is used in electrical appliances like electric bulb electric fan electric motor in some toys washing machine mixer grinders and all we use this type of electric electromagnet now you can see a picture children how does this electromagnet becomes that is the picture here in this picture we took a nail and in the nail we wrapped the nail with the insulated copper wire and we took the insulation and we connected this copper wire to the end of the battery to the positive and negative ends of the battery we connected it now we on the switch and also children before that we have kept some pin small small pin near it now when the switch is in off position no changes takes place here but when we on the switch you can see that the nails get sorry the pins get attracted towards the nail so here what happens children when the switch is on the current passes through the conducting wire and it makes the iron nail a magnet so as a result the pin get attracted to it so thus the iron became an electromagnet but this is not permanent children if you switch off the current the pins will lose its magnetic power and the iron nail is no longer a magnet and there will be no magnetic field so we can say that electromagnet is a temporary magnet it's not permanent so this is what is told in this picture so hope you understood today's topic today we have discussed about the switch different types of switch then conducting wires different types of conducting wires then about safety fuse what is the use of the safety fuse then finally we studied about the connection between the magnet and electricity so this is all about today so hope you have understood this so bye children